Uh, I'm gonna get at the AC. I think Avon Cobra yeah. made a post about it, so we been going Uncle Sherm since then. Talked about this today. Oh yeah, we did talk about it today. He, I mean, it kind of make him seem old, but I mean, he he's still young. He got a lot left on him. So here we go. Hello, yeah, we you. might we might revise his his uh, nickname to appreciate something else. That. I appreciate that. What's the most important thing you've learned from Richard? Uh, just taking the game serious, like the way you approach the game, and just uh, the. Just studying, like. But you want to hold it? I got you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got you, man. Just being a pro, like just, just trying to master the game, uh, watching film, and just paying attention to detail. And it's just for the scheme we run, it's all about detail. So you master your detail, you master your craft, you can be successful in the system. They did draft a guy who conceivably mm -hmm. could be giving you competition. Mm -hmm. um, did you view that as, as some sort of a, a challenge or, or slightly? With hey, like you said, man, just like how I got here, man. It's always I'm always competing regardless. You know, at the end of the day, no matter how much I master something, I'm still going to be a student. I'm still going to come out and just do my job and just compete regardless of whoever they draft or whatever. It's just a competition. It makes you better. You bring the best out of you. Surprised by, by that? Oh uh, no, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't worry. I just, you know, I mean, just worry about what I can control. And that's just going out there and just giving them my all. How seem to be very supportive of you coming here from where you were? Because they knew you already. What does that support mean to you? Uh, it means everything. You know, just to have guys, just have coaches confident, and I mean, they understand what you're gonna bring to the table, and it just makes everything easier. Claude, we we saw you. Uh, Ruben Foster's hearings and, and some of the other players showed up as well. What does that say about the, you know, the tightness of this team and how close everybody, especially on the defense, seems to be? I mean, it says a lot. I mean, we all want to support each other, and I was just there showing my brother support. What have you seen from him since he's been back to practice? Uh, I mean, he's been rude. I mean, rude's rude. I mean, he's he's been exciting, and he's bring he bring energy to our defense, and that's what we've been missing. Speaking of that. What kind of a jump do you see him taking in here too? Uh, just, I mean, for him, just understanding, the, uh, just understanding as far as what offenses want to do to us. I mean, we run one simple scheme, so they really try to. I mean, a lot of teams kind of run the same con pass concept. So the more alert he is to that, the more plays he can make. Training camp isn't too far around the corner. What do you guys remember about your very first training camp practice? <laughs> you got it. I actually don't even remember from my first. Uh, it was. I don't remember. Was it's it's all blended together. Was giving you some guidance or anything? Uh, that nah, I mean, it's pretty much all blended in. I, from uh, the oh, moment too. I got here as a rookie, it's the same as you know training camp, kind of the same as mini camp here. So it's you know it's it's basically the same. Okay, same for you. Yeah, it's, I mean, you go to OTAs, you just understand how to practice and. Just flow right into training camp. Jaklowski, Jimmy Ward's a guy who, like, even at this point, maybe isn't completely sure what his role will be. Kyle Shanahan told us he sees it as a compliment that he can play basically anywhere in that secondary. Do you see it that way? And uh, do you have some admiration for a guy with that kind of versatility? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, uh, for him to be able to play, he can yeah, he can play DN if he wants. Because <laughs> I mean, it's he, he's so versatile. So I mean, that, that also helps us out to where. If somebody get injured, he can come in and, and play or whatever. So I think it, it's a plus. Did he play DN in high school? <laughs> I mean, yeah. he in high school he blitzed a lot, so he might as well have been a DN. <laughs> he watched his high school take. He's he he blitzed down there every play. Bryce, you, a lot of guys who were drafted by the previous regime aren't around. Can you hear anymore? You got a, a contract extension. At what point um, did you get a sense that they really liked you here? Uh, I mean, once I uh, say about January, or February, when they uh, talked to my, it was around the scene, bro. They talked to my agents and discussed interests, and we worked, we worked things out from then. Yeah, same, same for you. They seemed to like you. Yeah. Too. Was that? I mean, obviously you had a previous relationship mm -hmm. uh, with Kyle. Anyway, did you? Have, was that a surprise last year? Yeah, it mean a little bit. Okay. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, it just. I was just going through the season at the time, you know. I just let my agent and stuff handle it, but I mean, 
I was just working and I appreciate it. You know, I loved it. I love that they had interest in me like that. So. Shwati, what do you want to prove to everybody in your comeback season? Uh, that I'm a, I can be a top safety in this league. 